Alrighty, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? Okay, so we are back. 11.22. But this is the review for 11.21. Let's get some uh, or get into it. Dang. I, I tried. I tried, y'all. I tried. It's all good, though. So let's go ahead and look at this review. There was no trades taken yesterday for me. I didn't get any alerts, unfortunately. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say unfortunately. We're looking for one trade to rule them all, one trade to bind them, right? We want to look for that one trade that's going to actually make sense. So it looks like coming into today, actually, early this morning or late last night, whichever you deem appropriate for midnight, Looks like price did come down. It fell. It, it looks like this is pretty much an absorption. It looks like we probably are going to start to move up, right? We have money flow. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's kind of starting to curve back down a little bit. A tad bit. But then again, we still do see, we see these, uh, this bullish divergence here and it came into our zone hit the zone and this is on the one hourly time frame the one hour time frame so we could start to see probably some sideways movement but i think we start to see some upward upward potential down to the 30 minute and mind you we did get an absorption off of this so boom came up started to come down started to kind of fall off so it did come down into this demand zone first moved back up into the supply and then fell off to go further into the demand and liquidate this previous low now i think we could potentially see some bullish price action we could potentially see something like that as i'm looking at this again i'm seeing this curve coming in on this money flow so it started, it started to come down, started to come down. And now I think we're probably going to start to level off before ultimately coming back up. And there's going to be green money flowing to the market, which means price action starts to go up. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit more. And you may see some new these, these green dots, right? Green dots, red diamonds. Again, I don't normally look at this on my chart. I just have it on here for now just because I, mean, I have an indicator. So we might as well analyze what it's looking like for video's sake, for review, right? So looks like price. And right, right now, really, I'm looking if there's a potential entry that I could have taken. So let's, let's go ahead and look at that. Let's go down to the one minute time frame and see if there's something we could have taken here. Interesting. So now I'm looking at A, and on the lower time frame, these aren't very accurate, in my opinion. Right, these green dots and blue triangles. If I'm looking at them, yeah. Like maybe down here after we tap into this zone, but mm, other than that, it's not really, in my opinion, because there's a lot to look at. You know, you see this green dot printing, and then it starts to come up. It crosses over this 21 EMA. We get a blue triangle in the next part or the next area that you potentially could buy maybe here off that green dot, but I mean, that's iffy. And then you see this pullback right here. Then you see a green dot right here. And if you did take that purely off the strength of market cipher, you probably want to put it below this low. Yeah, it's just not very much on there. And that's pretty risk. Right now that we see it come into the zone, right? And we see it to start, it absorbs on a higher time frame, or slower time frame. It actually has a body close above. But then you start asking, okay, well, where would I get in now? Well, you have price move up. And it finally body closes right here. Finally. So... The body closes, that's valid, comes back up. Then we want to go down. 
let's go here, 30 seconds. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because if you look at price action, you're like, ah, uh, it comes up, breaks down. There's really no MV1, MV2 here, in my eyes at least. So I'm looking at this. Yeah, break up. Finally comes back down, breaks down, break down. Mm. Yeah, no trade. Look at all these blue triangles. Let's take those off. Take off the blood diamonds and the blue triangles. Yeah, interesting. So, yeah, I mean, after it breaks here, we say, where did that come from? Somewhere up to here. Okay, so then what? We see it start to move up. Is there anything on the five second, maybe? Potentially. I mean, obviously, you see a lot of structure or intermediate candlestick structure inside of here. If you're looking on the five second, right? If you're saying purely on body close, that's gonna create a structural point, then yeah. You know, you see down here, no, nah, that's wick, that's wick close, <laughs> JK. So then you start to see it break up, breaks up, okay. Breaks up, breaks up, right? And then we finally see it break down, MB1. I mean, maybe, maybe if you're feeling particularly risky here, that might be an entry. For me, it's tough. It, it is definitely tough because I've been off the chart for a week and I don't know what my emotional state would have been if I was looking at that at that moment. So I couldn't say I would 100% take that right now in hindsight. But regardless, it could be a trade to take. Could be. It's a very small pullback. Very, very small pullback. Here, let's try and get more of an idea here. Yeah, so oh, I don't have the music on today. If you take that, the most you're going to get what, four nine, four nine there. Probably a three because that probably makes the most sense. And that would pretty much be it there. And you see it start to come back into the zone. And then price action breaks up. Boom, breaks down. That would have been pulled back. This is only one minute. Right there. Probably an L. Breaks down. Something like that. That's a one to three. That's definitely one to three. So what, what was I looking at there? Okay, well, I'm looking at just pure one minute price action, right? It comes up, it breaks up. And I mean, we're already expecting it to go down. That in short term, we're expecting it to go down. So what happens? Well, we have break up. I'm going to come from down here, breaks, right? So MV1, right? Pulls back ever so slightly, right? We're already looking for MV2 preemptively self-stopping, stop below the high and sell stop into this particular trade at 11, 563 points and just continues down. That actually would probably been something that I would have been like, ah, oh, okay, you know. And it looks like it runs. It could have ran for 1 to 13. So you take one loss, and then you're waiting for the pullback, and then you're waiting for these, this breaks, these breaks again. Great. Okay, so then we go ahead and look. It comes 
down into the zone. We, it hits our alert. And we're looking here. We're like, okay, well, what happened? And to be quite frank, really, price action broke down right here. We want to see it break this particular high first. So right here, something like that. And it finally breaks above and it just doesn't stop. So for me, on a one minute lease, there's no entry there. But let's go ahead and again, let's, for the sake of analysis, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit more. Let's go down to the 30 second. Let's look at it a bit more micro. Okay, okay, we see some wicks. It breaks down, finally breaks up. EV1, right, pulls back ever so slightly into the 21 EMA. Maybe two, but again, this is hindsight, y'all. So I didn't take these trades. Pretty good. That could have been a pretty good trade. I think, yeah. I mean, that's logical for personally me to take. And we run for a little one to six action. So right now, 10, 6, interesting. Let's go down to the 15 second and see what else we see. Potentially something else, right? Potentially something else, mate. All right, so we see price breaking down here, come from up here, breaks down again, right? Up for here, breaks above, right? And be one, very, very slight pullback. I mean, whoo, I'll tell you probably pretty risk probably pretty risk but I probably would have been impulse to try it stop below slightly below low right you get something like that go ahead and pull that bad boy up and that's one to ten you're looking at a 15 second entry there which is very high frequency trader right but we can take these things because we actually we actually do look at this pretty often so yeah that would have been that. It looks like there are some entries there for just looking pure on price action, double NB, double NB on lower time frame after we got into the supply zone, right? We we're expecting a buy, a buy from here. So this actually, these trades both make sense. Then I suppose what we could do is we could see, okay, well, what's the market cipher looking like? It looks like you do have a bullish divergence here. So potentially on the 15 second, if you're looking at the price action here, oh, you're deep in the red though. That's the only problem, deep in the red, deep in the red, but you still do have a bullish divergence technically. And so would you take that trade? I mean, I haven't done enough back testing to say I would have because I don't know the probability on it and how much it actually offers me, but we're gonna document it here because it does give you a nice little bottom there. I mean, pretty much you're at the bottom of that range there. So boom, you actually absorb through it. And so maybe one to 11, if you take that trade, which isn't too bad, it's not bad at all. Then you start to see some of these green dot continuations and you're like, okay, well, it's coming back, it's pulling back into the 21 EMA. Right, we're just going to put all of these on here for the sake of review and analysis. You know, at the end of the year, we'll go back through all of these videos, watch them one by one, and see what we see. So, we see this green dot, and it's coming down below the zero line, but money flow is still in the green. So, we could say that. I mean, it's we still have a completely valid 21 EMA there, and you take that trade potentially. And let's see what it gives you if you hold it. I mean, you get at least a one to three, at least, which is good. We want a minimum of one to three. And then now we pull it up to the top, and that's like a one to 11. Interesting. So just off of this particular, in this area, after we hit this demand zone, we have a good amount of entries from the 15 second down to the five second, all the way up to the one minute time frame, 
there are some good entries in here that you could take slightly risk some riskier than others but they do actually exist so really that's that's my analysis uh or my review of nasdaq go ahead and take that down first uh, no actually let's keep it up and let's go back up let's go to 15 minute yeah I think we could be seeing bullish price action though from here on out. So yeah, I mean, it looks like a, a green day is up and coming. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the analysis on Oz 100. Now let's go ahead and look at Euro. I'm, I'm pretty sure we said on Euro, we weren't really liking it because we were seeing price broke down. It was starting to do some bearish stuff. But ultimately, we didn't see a zone that we like for it to come back and retest into before going lower. So I just said, hey, I'm not going to look at that. Now, if we look at EG or the euro pound, then uh, it looks like we wanted it to come back up into this zone. It, it just fell off most of the day. And then finally, we got a nice little pullback early this morning, 1 a.m., midnight 1 a.m. time but then we fell off again and so mm, no trade there no trade there so we got gold and see what we can see yeah there's just no trade on gold as well from what we are expecting now mm, yeah, yeah, yeah i don't see a trade here we were waiting for it to come and tap into this 50 percent of uh this particular supply zone but never came back in there and i mean that's pretty much that you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, you know, you can talk like that. Now it looks like uh, you know, price action right there, 90, starting to come back. That's fine. $90. $90. What's this doing? Let's see. So what were we looking for here? We saw this break. Um, were we, I think we're looking at like monthly or something crazy <laughs> i think we we're looking at the monthly we we're talking about okay well we have this large large zone we took 50 percent of that and we we're saying hey this is what it's going to be right what the hook going to be uh oh i don't need no hook on this piece okay so all i need is a track in the background so there we go and it looks like I mean, we just had a bunch of sideways motion here right break up break down Looking for a test off of that breakdown, right? Break down, and we're starting to look like we kind of want to go bullish. Mm, that's technically, well, that's very wiki, very wiki. We want a, we want a nice clean body close. But I mean, you know, potentially we, but for sure we we do kind of want to see it come back down to here first. So that's pretty much it for our trade review for 11.21, y'all. Catch me back again when we go through the trade ideas for 11.22, probably in a little bit, but we'll see. All right. Well, hit that comment section, hit the like button, and, of course, hit the subscribe button to continue with your boy on his journey to becoming consistently profitable. Y'all have a good day. Peace.